So I was in my um, early 30s at the time. It was prior to my transitioning um, to Parker. Um, so I lived with another woman at the time. Well, we were together eight years. Um, it more or less started almost right away. And at first she seemed really fun. It was me that tended to get the brunt of her frustration and anger. Um, she'd come from a, quite an abusive childhood, um, been in a domestic violence situation herself with a, a, a man, and was perpetuating the same thing. Exactly the same thing as what he did to her, um, she did to me. So she'd worn me down over the eight years. I had me convinced that I was boring, nobody would ever want me. I had nothing going for me. I just thought that that's the way relationships are. Um, that, you know, that's the way life is and that's what I see around me, it's what I saw growing up. And that, that was just normal. Growing up that way and, and being worn down to the point where I didn't think it was actually worth anything. Well, certainly your, your opinion should matter. You shouldn't have your partner telling you you're not worthy or you're not capable or you're boring or any of these things. It should be a, an equal partnership where you both have equal say and you're, you care about one another's opinions and feelings and thoughts. And you should feel that too. It shouldn't just be a word thing, you know, with someone actually saying these words. You should actually feel that from your partner. You should feel like you're, you're in a, a partnership rather than an unequal relationship. And if anything like that, you get out. Because they won't change and you won't change them. They, they won't change unless they get professional help. People do say to you, well, why don't you just leave? Like, it is just that simple to just walk out the door. But it's not that simple. Because you love that person. Um, and I think that's what's hard about it. You actually love that person. And you think they're going to change. You think if you just do this, or you just do that, or if you just keep your mouth shut, they'll change. They'll be that person that you fell in love with. And I think that's what makes it difficult. If you're not happy in your relationship, look at it. Look at where it's going. Look at the things that are happening to you. Go and speak to somebody. You know, see if they agree with you. Speak to a friend or go and see a psychologist, you know, or go and speak to your GP and, and explain to your GP what's happening and how it's making you feel and see what your GP says to you. Get in touch with DV Connect. DV Connect will actually pay attention to you. They are, and, and they are a fantastic agency and they will, they will get you the help and assistance you need. And they are well equipped now to be able to deal with all aspects of communities, especially LGBTIQ communities now. Don't just stay in that relationship and think it's going to get better, because it won't.